Here we are in Waipapa, uh, which is in Whangapoa. Uh, so it's Coromandel uh, beach town, but we've got the unique situation of actually having a river on one side. So we're in this sort of sand dune bridge almost between this rural landscape to the west and the, and the ocean to the east. The weather is forever changing and being able to occupy different corners of your of your house at different times of the year as successfully is, is a really important part of it, especially when in a situation, I guess, like a beach house, um, that you can come all year round and enjoy it in, in, in all different conditions. One of the key parts, I guess, of the design is, is this notion of how do you make a building respond to its context and its climate. So there are a number of elements in here from sort of west sunscreening to eyebrows over windows to natural ventilation with actua actuators. We have some, uh, some hydraulic ram uh, shutters that, that lift up and down depending on the climate. Clients are just here, the two of them, in the middle of winter and it's really cold and windy there's a sense of enclosure and comfort and particularly with the slightly dropped light levels that you feel really cosy in, in some sort of more yeah, cosy lodge. Mm. But then when 20 people are here, it's blitzed wide open, and it's breathing and moving and it's the light shifting as, as the sun moves around. We have a really large, what I call a furniture wall here to the north of the building that then effectively extrudes from an inside fireplace to an outside fireplace to a barbecue. And so you have the sense that it's threading inside to outside and then outside again. I guess we commonly do that, yeah. this idea of sort of blurring the edges between when you're inside and when you're outside. One of the, we, the important things, because we're sitting in this room now and it's quite rich and dark and it's, it's that filtering of the light from the, the intensity of the light outside, particularly on a, on a summer's day. That's where the highly textured cedar wrapping around all of the walls and then staining it a darker, a darker stain would have come yeah. from. And over the ceiling as well. Yeah. So we're sort of trying to create this a little bit more of a, a cocoon. It's like you've got these layers from outside to inside. So we're definitely deliberately working with that in terms of materiality. It's like you're listening to the wind. You're actually mm -hmm. saying, what is here already? What, what, is this, what can this place tell us that we can then use to, to make a building and make it feel like it, it belongs? I mean, it's, it's a wonderful thing if you can somehow produce a, a work of architecture that actually feels like it belongs. It's of its place.